Hey guys, welcome to one more um, after Christmas Christmas card video. <laughs> um, I am meeting a friend of mine a little late in the year, so um, we're going to do everything tomorrow. So I didn't really have to have this done. You know me, I work down to the wire, so um, we're doing it now. So she, I'm doing a sloth card, and she likes sloth. So this is the sloth shirt I got her, um, and this is from CJ Banks. And it's quite pretty, and it's green, and um, I actually wanted one for myself. So I'm going to just put that back in the bag real quick. And I just kind of wanted to show you what uh, theme that we are doing. So uh, I'm using a sloth stamp set from Unity Stamps, and um, I'm using these little... Um, things, these little dies from Penny Black, and I kind of feel like the scroll just reminds me of like Santa's list or something, so that's why we're doing that, mm, okay, I think that's pretty good, this ink, um, as you know, you probably shouldn't use this with Copic markers, but I am anyway, and it seems to be, yeah, pretty good, um, and since it's going to be a brown sloth, um, and I think it's going to be okay. So, um, I move this to the side for a second and just kind of let that dry while we um, do some other things. So, I have a brown piece of cardstock here, and I'm going to add a little uh, sloth hat on, kind of like a Santa sloth, I guess. And um, she likes Santa Claus stuff. And, uh, so I use this little hat paper, and she always fusses because, um, I'll pick pretty paper and then I'll cover it up. So I'm trying to leave as much as I possibly can, even though it, it does still cover it up some. Um, then in the middle, we are going to kind of pick up some of this from the outside with some glitter, uh, cardstock, some red glitter this kind of aqua color glitter and then the white is what I'll be writing on. So I'm going to quickly put that down. And I, I am loving this sickling tape so that was um, that was a good thing. I'll be I think repurchasing more of that um, when I run out. But um, I still like the Eliz Elizabeth Crafts tape as well. So either one, I guess whichever is in stock is basically what I'll be getting. So um, it's not going to matter too much, I don't think. One seems to be about as strong as the other, but um, sometimes it's hard to find the Elizabeth Crafts in stock certain places. So, um, all right, so I think that is a pretty addition from the front here. All right. So I put this on here, and you see you can still kind of see the little, the little Santa hats or whatever. All right, so got a lot to do on this one, sort of. Um, this is the only part that doesn't scare me. This nice little gray bar, or maybe it's a branch. I was thinking it was. Hmm, it might have to go over this in brown because it could be a branch. I mean, sloths aren't normally hanging out on a bar, I guess. But this one is, because he's different. He's special. So, there. Alright. Um, so, it's going to be a bar. But, I don't know. We'll think on it. If it doesn't really go with flow there, we'll, uh, we'll do something else. Alright. So, I looked up, I googled sloths, and... They're primarily brown with like a lighter type face, or at least the ones um, that have pictures pop up. So I'm just going to go around, all around in kind of a, in, this, in a dark, what is this, E37, um, kind of a dark brown. And then we'll make the rest of him, I don't know, on 
honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I have several different brow markers out here, so we're gonna make the rest of them something. Okay, I have to focus while I do this so I can actually stay in the lines. And then I also have another project at the very end of this video um, that we're gonna do real quick for her too. I think I'm just gonna bring that all the way down. And then the claws are kind of like a, a very light, um, almost like a blonde color, uh, like a very light tan. So, hmm. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I think I might have should have started with a lighter color. I'm just going to kind of go over. I'm going to do that same brown around the edge with his hair. And then maybe it'll be okay to go in and blend it. I don't know. Should I give him like a, a pale face, sort of? I don't know. Let's make, let's make this part dark brown to match the other. And then, I don't know, does that go into his nose? I feel like I'm just talking to myself, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's, that looks a little silly now, so let's trace around his eyes. And we'll come right into there. I don't know. Better just stop right there for a little bit. <laughs> let's try. Let's try a little of this color. See how, yeah, that'll be okay. That'll blend and give it, I mean, it's not like super blending, but, um, and then this part I'll do lighter. I believe. I have to study up on some sloth stuff. Get better on this sloth coloring. All right, so I'm gonna do a much lighter color for for the nails. So I want to stay away from those a little bit. But I do think this image is really cute. He's a cute little sloth. And it says, you're my favorite to hang with. So we're gonna be hanging out tomorrow. We're gonna go to Applebee's and it's not exactly our favorite place, although I do really love those um, pretzels, the, like the big soft pretzels and beer cheese. And sometimes they have some new stuff on the menu too. Um, that's just a good little appetizer if you haven't tried those. They're really, really soft. And um, But anyway, um, ah, I hit one of the nails. So I think... I don't know if I'm gonna color all this. I'll just sort of go underneath here. I don't know. I feel like I need to make him a little bit more smooth there if I'm not going to, I don't know. Okay, so I used, I used that back over here. Sorry guys, I will chat more in the next video, but I feel like I kinda need to focus because I haven't really planned it out too well. And there's lots of little details in this. But anyway, um, I have a free card to Applebee's, which is the main reason we're going. Because, hey, free food, right? Um, so I think I'm going to have to go over this with a little bit darker. I don't know, that almost makes him look like a bandit. I will give him those nails, though. I do think that'll be a really good nail color. Okay. So how was all your holidays? All right. So we're going to go in with just a little touch darker. I 
I don't know. I guess I can tell it's bleeding just a hint right there. I think it'll be okay. All right, I'll just touch that, touch that. All right, I believe our sloth is okay. Whoops, just a little bit darker right there. And you know what's coming. We're gonna go over him and our glitter gel pen. I mean, our Wink of Stella here. It's my favorite. I use it on literally everything. I think she might cry anyway if I didn't use it on her card because it just wouldn't be a card for me. It doesn't have some Wink of Stella on it. So I think it, Wink of Stella just livens up everything. Literally everything. Alrighty. So like I said, how did you guys enjoy your holiday? Did you have a good one? Was it a good year? Was it a crappy year? <laughs> Let me know. Um, are you glad it's over? Are you looking forward to next year? Are you already planning? What, what, what? Looking forward to New Year's? All that good stuff. Tell me all about it. What did you get? What did you give? What did you... Anything you want to tell me. What was your favorite gift or the favorite gift that you got or whatever. All right. I shouldn't have pre-taped that a little bit. All right. So I used, um, guess Simon says, oh my gosh, Stampin' Up Punch and it's a little, um, Santa's hat. So it's cuts out. Um, I did a, a round, well, I should probably just, let me just take this down first. So I feel like it's going to wiggle on me. It might be easier if it doesn't. And yes, this cardstock fades through, but it doesn't really matter. So it doesn't really change anything. Okay, so there we go. So it cuts out a Santa hat. And then one of those little, like the, the cotton or whatever that's the fluff that's around the center hat and then one of those little pieces which will be right there hmm. I also have also have these if I don't want to use that but I don't know yeah I guess let's choose that and I have these little tiny baby ones but I think that'll be too small so, what to do, what to do, okay, so I'm going to take this down, I'm going to glue this down, I mean, um, and I'm going to use some glossy accents in a few minutes, so, let me see if this is working, please work, okay, uh, I'm just going to use that as my, my glue, I believe, it should be okay, hopefully. Because I think, pretty sure anyway, I'm going to, uh, I want to, should I tilt it? I don't know which way to tilt it. I don't know. Um, you know what though? I want to, I want to wink a Stella it. You can still tell it's red, I think. Just be glittery red. Could have cut it out of that same glitter cardstock, I guess, that I used on the inside. That might have been pretty. Hmm. Still thinking it might do that. Don't know. But it'll be covered up with the glossy accent, so I don't think you're going to be able to really tell. So, I shall scoot it up just a tad so you can see his hair a little bit. So I think it goes that way. I don't really know which way it goes, to be honest, but it's the way we're going to make it go. Push it up a little bit more. I want to see that, that little bit of hair, but I think I've already covered it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glitter that real quick. I think this... 
Well guys, sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but my video cut off and I never, never even noticed it. So, um, what I did was I put glossy accents on the hat and it's drying. I put, added the little fluff ball and then I added those things. Um, I put glossy accents on the little thing, the little sloth's eyes and that was pretty much it. So, there we go. Um, the next thing I wanted to do, I was <laughs> in the middle of when I really realized that it was, um, uh, cutting off, I have this die, and, um, so the friend I'm meeting tomorrow is, um, she, well, she's a big fan of, um, Mickey Mouse, so I got her a couple of little Mickey things, um, more as just a, a side gift, I guess, just a little something, but, um, it does fold, it has a little score line, so you just fold these in, these up, these up, and then you glue it. So that was the part that I was on when I was over here. So for the Mickey one, um, <coughs> let's see here. I guess, actually, gotta cut that off. Um, so I don't know if that's what they meant for, because I saw a picture of it used. And it looked kind of like they did that. I don't really know about the cutting, but they did something like that. So, um, and that must be what that goes on there for. So we're going to go ahead and glue that. And I'm just going to use the glossy accents glue since, um, since that's already out. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and then, you know, Mickey's, um, let me pull up a picture here real quick, just a second, guys. Mickey Mouse. Okay, so, I guess this is like his pants, and then these little things are, I didn't know what those were actually for, so I guess... That's like his buttons, kind of, on his pants. So, just leave that picture up so I can kind of know where I'm going to put them. I don't know. I guess that's what they are. Um, hopefully, hopefully that is what they're meant to be. It is an air world. That's what we're going to call them. His little buttons. And I'll have to show you the, the little things I'm going to put in here. I swear, I've got to stay off Amazon. It does me no good sometimes. Sometimes it's great. But I'm going to have to start reading more descriptions and things. Because what I ordered was a whole lot smaller. So that I think that's cute. Um, than I thought. So, so the first thing that came was this Mickey key. Right? So it's a cute little key. It was 3D. It kind of showed a picture of the side and, but it just looked much, much larger. So, um, <laughs> oh well. Um, so my second thing, we'll put that in there. And then the second thing I ordered was this, which I liked much better. Um, this is like a rose gold and a kind of a pearly, um, Mickey key little diamond things there. So we're going to take that off. And uh, come on, come on, come on. I think we are. Okay. So, well, you know what? I think we're going to add this to something else. Just hook that back. Okay. I think we're going to add that to something in a minute. All right. But this that looks a little more feminine, and I want to do one with Minnie Mouse. So, all right, so this and this was the um, the next thing I ordered. So, it's a Mickey ring, and it's, like, flat with the crystal kind of, or whatever stone that is. And I love the feel of it, but again, it was, like, supposed to be way bigger. And I, I do like the ring, but the necklace, it's going to be a little small, I feel like. So, I don't know. 
but we're going to put that in there and that in there. And that's going to be our little Mickey one. So, um, Minnie Mouse supposedly uh, has, I think I'm going to use the same black one for her, but she has a red bow. So I'm going to give her a red bow up here, and I think, actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. Or does it go like that? Maybe it goes, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to do it up. It's probably upside down, but I, I like it better that way. That's how I would wear it if I was her. So, that's what we're doing. <gasps> ah. Okay. I really hope it's supposed to go like that. Okay, so I have tiny little, where is that? Um, you know the thing I use to put in my, man, where's that thing? To pick up the jewels with, but I'm not seeing right this second. This thing, the quick stick. Um, I'm gonna try, first I'm going to, I'm gonna adjust that, because I think it's crooked. Alright, and then I'm going to put a little bit in each one here. And all the, it cuts out a lot of little dots. So, I know they're hard to see, but um, they came out of the bow because I cut it out in black, white, and red because I wasn't sure quite what I was going to do with it yet. So, uh, now I know, I think. Pretty sure, anyway. If we don't like it, we can do another one. I won't make you guys sit through the torture of another one, but... Alright. Couple more. Nope, three more. Maybe one more. One more, and we're good. Come on. Um, I did get her some other things as well, but, alright, so, what else does it need to say, Minnie Mouse? I don't know. So, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Just going to put a little bit of glue on each flap there, and hope it holds. Okay. Ah. Uh. All right, I needed about that. About that big. Maybe. So I'm just going to, I guess, I just sit here and hold it for a bit. <laughs> and But basically, guys, this is what it is. So there's Mickey. And there's my version of Minnie, but I'm thinking now, I bet the boat was supposed to go the other way. I could put her one on that side. I don't know. Yeah, thinking. I don't know. I still like it my way. Oh, uh, well. I think I'm leaving it my way. I just like it better. If Minnie does not wear her bow that way, she should start. She should really start. <sighs> Thank you.